talking about the switch this morning, the first scripted TV show with a transgender lead. It was filmed right here in Vancouver. And joining us this morning to talk about this exciting new show, we've got Amy Fox, actor from The Switch, and Ingo Liu, producer. Welcome to BT. Uh, some people may not have heard about how exciting and very topical this show is, so we want to throw to a clip and then we'll talk about especially where this idea came from. Here we go. The giant box of estrogen. It's not a giant box of estrogen. I mean, it is a giant box and, and there's estrogen in it. It's just well packed. No, 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 no. Reality suggests otherwise. But I ordered the smallest amount. In kilograms? Kilo what? Metric system? Beyond Vanilla Canada. I hate the metric system. It's so exciting. So is this your dream? Are you looking at the going, that's my imagination yep, on much. camera? So take us back to writing this script oh. and where you got the idea from and okay. how you made this happen. Uh, well, we wanted to make a show that honestly was just funny to watch but also happened to be starring and created by trans people and also Vancouver. Vancouver is Vancouver in the show unlike most other TV shows where Vancouver is pretending to be like New York or Los Angeles or Seattle or what have you. So you play Chris, yep. someone who's escaping Trump's America. Uh, no, Sue is escaping. That's who oh, just Sue. saw the yellow jacket on. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. So this is really mir mirroring real life, yeah? Uh -huh. So did you realize how topical this would be when you were writing it? <laughs> uh, we were afraid of how topical it oh. might become when we were writing it. Okay, and so now that it is super topical, does that come as a great relief to you or is there a lot of pressure to be mirroring exactly what's happening? Uh, I'm not sure if, if uh, Trump getting elected is a relief to us or not. Um, I, I'm, I'm glad that the show is relevant. Um, I am a little sorry that it is as relevant as it is. I'm hoping 20 years from now people will be looking back and going like oh man 2017 that was weird yeah. Ingo, can you you're the producer can you tell us about perhaps how difficult it was to get this produced and get it on the air oh sure I mean uh, the main challenge to making a show like the switch is that it, uh, it is a subject matter that uh, is not something that uh, is super mainstream um, so funding uh, to make a television series like this is uh, was always the biggest challenge what we did was uh, we crowdfunded we did a Kickstarter campaign um, we relied on community support a lot of philanthropic donations and uh, people who came and worked on the show did so for next to nothing yeah Vancouver's film community really came together to help us out on this one. Well, considering you are filming here in Vancouver and it's a show with a transgender lead, do you guys have a big connection with Pride coming up next week? Oh, we do. We are going to be um, we're going to be hosting some stuff for Extra at the Dyke March. Sorry, at the Trans March. We're going to be at the Dyke March uh, with our DVDs and we're going to be on Sunset Beach uh, at the main Pride event. We'll have a viewing booth uh, where people can come in and come in from the heat, get into a shady tent and watch the switch. Um, and uh, of course, we'll have uh, DVDs will be selling uh, as well of uh, the season one um, and I think it'll just be a really good time. All right where can people see the switch? Ah uh, well it is coming out on August 15th on iTunes, Amazon and Google Play. Wonderful. Are your parents so proud of you? Do they know that your dreams are coming true yeah, with this? Yeah my mom's very proud of me. Say hi mom. Hi mom. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey guys thank you so much for joining us. Uh, congratulations on your new show The Switch. Thank you. Have a great Thanks. time at Pride and we'll be having more BT after this. We'll